Hi, my name is Richard Azarga from Microsoft, and in this video, I'm going to illustrate a creative way to communicate between an app for Office and a pop-up window. Now, typically, you should avoid pop-up windows when you're building apps for Office. However, there might be certain scenarios where it's unavoidable. So, one of those might be you need more screen real estate than the app provides. So, by default, a task pane app is going to be, you know, a certain width. A mail app is going to be a certain height. And although the user can resize those, you kind of have to design around those defaults. Now, if, if you needed more screen real estate, a pop-up might be appropriate for that. Another scenario where a pop-up might be appropriate is if you need to do some sort of external flow. So like an OAuth flow, I've frequently found to be a better experience in a pop-up window. It gives a little bit more room for things like the authorizations that the app might be asking for uh, using that OAuth flow. So those are the two scenarios that I've seen kind of the most for leveraging a pop-up. The problem is, is that apps for Office run in isolation. So when they pop up a window, they can't really communicate back with it easily and not using the normal methods. And so I've found this method to be a creative way to solve that challenge. And that's using what we call Signal R. So Signal R is a, a .NET um, web component that allows us to communicate between a server and a client browser in near real time. So we can actually push information to the clients. Um, and we can use that as a communication hub between different browser windows. Uh, we can distribute things to all clients that are connected to the server or just a very specific one, which is what we're going to use uh, for our communication. So to get started with Signal R, if you're not if you're new to it, is you need to add a hub. And so the way you add a hub is in, in a web project. I happen to be in an MVC project here, uh, but you can simply say add and add new item and under web uh, items, you'll find a Signal R hub class. And so that will add a number of things to your project. It'll add some script, it'll add a, a class file, um, and ultimately it'll give you all kind of the plumbing you need to start using Signal R. Now, my hub in this case is actually really simple. Uh, I define a, a method on the hub. In this case, I've defined a method called send message. And this is going to accept a client ID and a message. That client ID is telling me which specific browser am I going to go send this message to. So without this client ID, I would have to, I'd be sending my message to anyone that's connected to this website. Uh, but by pro providing that client ID, we're going to be able to target very specific browsers. And in our case, our main window and our pop-up window. So the second part of this solution is I actually built two views. So I have a main window view and I have a pop-up window view and they're, they're pretty similar. Um, the only difference is the main window is going to do a couple of extra things. One, it's going to launch our pop-up window and it's also going to wait for a handshake with our pop-up. So let's just take a quick look at, at what's going on in here to, to support that. So the first thing you'll notice is that I do have some references to Signal R um, as scripts in my, my views. So I'm uh, referencing my Signal R uh, jQuery script here and then a hubs, which is where I initialize things like my, my pop-up communication hub. So um, inside my, my code, one of the first things I'm doing is initializing my hub. Um, I'm initializing when someone sends a message to my hub, I'm gonna expect a, a message here and I'm gonna be able to work with that message however I want. I need to start my hub. So you can see here I'm doing communication.hub.start and then it basically I can do some additional things once it's done. So once I start it, I'm going to initialize the server and then I can start kind of doing things. Now, one of the most important things to make all of this work is that when a browser connects to, to a, a SignalR server, 
it gets its own unique ID. It's going to be a GUID that it gets. And that's what this line is right here. So you can see that I'm basically getting this browser's unique identifier off of the hub. And the reason this is really important is we're going to pass the parent ID, its unique identifier, into the pop-up. So you can see that right here when I do a window.open, I'm passing that parent ID into the pop-up. So from the very start, the pop-up window is going to be aware of its parent window. Now, the parent yet isn't going to be able to talk to the pop-up. So what we're going to do is in the pop-up, if we look at here, it'll be some of the similar code. Um, I have a few things just to read that parent ID off of the URL. So it's just a URL parameter, and that's, that's what all of this is doing. Uh, but then I'm initializing the hub. I'm initializing what happens when a message is sent to me. Um, and then I'm starting the hub. As soon as I start the hub, I'm going to pass the pop-ups unique identifier to the parent. So you can see that that's what we're doing right here. I'm getting the pop-ups unique identifier. I already know the parent's unique identifier because it was passed as a URL. And ultimately, I'm sending that pop-up ID to the parent. So if, you, if we look at the send message for the, the parent, I'm going to expect that the very first message is the pop-up ID. And then once I have the IDs, basically both places know of each other's IDs, we can start communicating messages back and forth and it, wor it works really nicely. So uh, really, you know, go download the solution and see kind of how all this works. But let me go ahead and play it and show you what the user experience is like. And this is just a simple, I just kind of made like a chat app here that we do between the windows, but you could use this, and this happens to be a mail app, or a read mail app, but you could use this in any of the other apps for Office. So we'll go ahead and log into mail here. And I don't have any activation rules on this. It's really gonna activate on anything. So I'll just select a, a piece of mail. Here's my mail app, and this is loading the parent window. So behind the scenes, this is going and initializing that page. And one of the things it's doing from the very start is getting the parent ID. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and launch the pop-up. And this is going to happen really quickly because as soon as the pop-up launches, it's going to go and read that parent ID that's passed to it and send its own ID into the parent through SignalR. So I'll go ahead and click on this, but almost immediately, the pop-up um, is, or the button here is going to disappear and there's going to be a chat window available for me. And that's how fast Signal R communicates. Even though we're going through a server here, it's really, really fast. So I'll go ahead and click on this. The handshake has already occurred. So you can see now they're ready to chat with each other. And so from here, I'll go ahead and maybe chat from the pop-up window. I will say, hello world from my pop-up. And I'll go ahead and say send. And you can see it shows up immediately in my mail app. And likewise, if I were to, I'll just kind of tile these side by side here. I'll go ahead and type a message from my mail app. So this is going to be my from my parent window into the pop-up window. So we'll say hello from the mail app. And it's almost as soon as I click send here, I'll click it right now, you can see it shows up in the pop-up window. Now there's nothing... There's client-side technology involved here, but the messaging is all going through our server. It's going through that, um, that signal, our hub. In fact, if I were to go back to our hub, I'll just quickly locate our hub, I can put a breakpoint here and see exactly what's going on between this, this pop-up communication. So let's maybe communicate from our pop-up back to our parent window. Uh, we'll just say hello once again from the pop-up. And I'll go ahead and click send. And you'll see it hits our breakpoint. We can read the message here and the client ID that we're trying to communicate to. So this client ID is the parent's client ID because, again, the pop-up knows about it. 
And so um, I'll go ahead and press play. And again, what we should see is that it was able to come through um, on the, uh, the parent's window. So anyway, signal R is a really great way to solve some of this communication, even though that this window that the mail app is hosted in or a task pane app or a content app, it runs in isolation. It's really hard to do normal communication, but SignalR is a great way to solve that problem. So again, download the solution, take a look at how it all works. Hopefully it's something you should be able to just download and immediately run. Uh, so good luck building your apps for Office that might have pop-ups.